Lee and Hart, Commissioner of Agriculture. We're here at Cedar Lakes Conference Center, the home of the West Virginia FFA. And this is where our FFA students hold their annual convention. But Cedar Lakes is so much more. It's a great resource for the community. We also bring in a lot of band camps, not only from West Virginia, but out of state. We're really tied into the West Virginia tourism and 40% of our revenue comes from tourism. But it's a great resource for West Virginia. The Department of Agriculture has been managing Cedar Lake since 2016, and you'll be seeing all the improvements that we've made to make this such a great place to come visit. Over the course of the pandemic, obviously we had to close parts of the facility and we lost a lot of revenue because of cancellation of events. Total revenue loss was estimated at about $1.7 million or 80% of our annual income. But what we did was we concentrated on a lot of the deferred maintenance that the department inherited and we also repurposed staff to make sure we didn't have to fire anybody during that period of time. Under my administration, we have done about $600,000 worth of deferred maintenance that we inherited when Cedar Lakes was transferred to us. We've repaired a dam. We've put in new air conditioning systems, we've redone bathrooms, we've redone the floor in the dining hall. We've done so many great things to give Cedar Lakes the attention it deserves. And now, we just before the pandemic hit, we let a contract of $1.4 million for an assembly hall to meet the expanding FFA program within the state of West Virginia. They're gonna have new classrooms in which to train future farmers. As you can see, Cedar Lakes has a bright future. We are going to be hosting many great activities this summer from weddings to band camps, soccer camps, other civic activities such as Rotary. We hope to see you at Cedar Lakes. Cedar Lakes is going to be a part of West Virginia's bright future.